If you just started your business, chances are that you will not be getting results on Facebook as soon as you would want to. But there is a few things that you can do that will help you get those results way faster. Ladies and gentlemen, lookalike audiences, custom audiences and third party audiences are here to save you. In this video, you will learn what they are, what they do, how you can use them and how you can measure performance against the broad audiences and interest stacking. I will show you what I use for my clients and I'll show you what I use for myself, both in B2C and B2B marketing. If you're very new to marketing, I would recommend watching this video first just so you have the idea on how everything works all together. After that, you can come back to this video and learn how you can improve those ads and results. So let's jump right into it. If you have a brand new ad account, your process on creating ads is probably going to look something like this. You're going to select your campaign goal, you're going to click continue, manual settings, and in the ad set level, you're going to pick who are you targeting. Now, if you're brand new to Facebook marketing, chances are that you are going to go with broad settings. So in this very screen, just make sure that this is off and this is original. You're going to see something like this and you're going to leave it fully broad but it's going to use a lot more money and time for Facebook to figure out who is your ideal target audience. The other option that you've got is just put some interest. So let's say we are looking for people that want to buy some houses. So as you can see, this would be the very beginning of your targeting. You would then go and stack those interests, probably like 20 of them, and you would compare it against broad. Now you've got two audiences. But in this video, I wanted to show you that there is more options, what you can do and how you can leverage that. So we would be talking about custom audiences and lookalike audiences. But what is the difference? Custom audience is when you have a CSV file or a group of people that have already taken an action and there is a limited amount of them. Facebook is going to show ads to those people and those people only. So let's say we've got people that clicked on your profile, that clicked on your post, liked your post, sent you a message. All those events can be then picked in here and we can run ads to those people specifically. So if you've got a brand new ad account, if you've never run ads, you're probably going to see nothing in here. And I'm going to show you what it looks like new account versus an aged account. This is where you go. You're going to go to Ads Manager Facebook and you're going to go to Audiences. You're going to go Create New Audience custom audience. You've got a lot of sources in here, but most of them are not going to be relevant to 90% of you. I would focus on website, customer list, catalog, video, lead form, Instagram account, and Facebook page. Those are the only ones worth, in my opinion, but you can, of course, disagree. So how it works. For most of you, if you're just starting out, you're not going to be able to use websites because you didn't set up your pixel yet. But what you can do, if you already had some sales, you're going to go to customer list, and you can actually prepare a whole file, and you can then upload that file to Facebook and match some fields, such as first name, last name, email, phone number, and Facebook is going to find those people and you can run ads to those people. The cool part about it is you can use it for both service-based businesses and e-commerce businesses. All you would really have to do is download a file template and this is what you're going to see. This is what you have to send off to Facebook and you have to prepare data so it looks exactly like this. Once you have that file, you're going to go back to Facebook, you're going to click next and you're going to upload that list in here. The next step would be to match the columns. Now we've got a file. Unless you're an e-commerce store, you're going to leave it no continue without value. If you are e-commerce store and you have the data on people that, let's say, bought specific products, click yes and assign those values. After that, you're just going to map those fields. You can go in here as well and you can click this button and make sure that all these add up to the to appropriate fields on the left side. Once you've got that, you're happy with this, you click import and create. It's going to ask you to confirm it, but I'm not going to upload this file because I already have it. After that, it's going to change the status to populating. And once it's ready, it's going to say ready. Then you can actually start using this. This is a custom audience. Custom audience, like I said, Facebook is going to show your ads to a limited amount of people. After that, once you have something like that, you can go ahead and create a lookalike audience, which I'll go in just a second. I just wanted to show you the other stuff you can do with custom audiences first, because this was just a customer list. The other stuff that you can do, if you have some video ads or you have some organic posts, you can click video and you can go in here engagement type. And you want to be focused on people that have watched 95% of your video because those will be the hottest leads or people most likely to convert because they've already spent their time. Those are the people that you want to focus on. So you're going to click this. I would recommend that you're going to go and set it up for at least I would focus on people within the last three months call it so you're going to audience retention 90% then you have to select the actual videos so pick something that's popping up on your Instagram page click this select the video confirm add description if you want then create audience so now once you've got that type of audience again it's going to start populating then it's going to be ready the other audiences is going to be lead form all of those are very very intuitive so all you would have to do is click lead form and I would suggest people that open the form but didn't submit it if you want to do this one open and submit the form that would go under retargeting but this is a topic for a whole nother video the key part in here is that once you've got those audiences you want to go and create lookalike audiences because this is how new people can actually leverage facebook's algorithm because if they have limited amount of data let's say 1000 5000 
they're going to run out of this pretty fast. So now lookalike audience is going to show your ads to people that Facebook thinks are similar to the ones that you've uploaded. So let's say you've got a customer that just bought a car from you and you've got 5,000 of those people, a full list, and you want to go and create a Facebook lookalike audience, which will then take that data, go ahead to Facebook and find 1%, 2, 5, 10% of people like them. And all the percentages in here, meaning how close of a match are those? So if you already have that uploaded, you're going to click purchase and you're going to go ahead and select the region. I selected United States and you're going to go ahead and pick percentages. So in this case, we've got 2.8 million on 1% and depending on your audience size and how many people are you actually targeting the market size, you're going to decrease or increase it. I would always aim to have it at around 1% just so the audience is at least 300,000 people when you go to the actual ads manager. So this is what I stick to. If you want to, you can create multiple ones. So let's say we want to have one audience that is 2.8 million people. You want to have one audience that is 1%, the other one is 1 to 3%, and the other one is 3 to 7%. Once you've got that, you can then create three different ad sets and you can figure out which one is going to be converting the best, which one gets you the best cost per lead or cost per sale. Because once you have that data, you'll be able to get the most money out of your marketing box. Just like I said before, I'm going to show you now what it looks like on an Apes ad account. As you can see in here, we've got quite a lot of data, quite a lot of audiences, not just Facebook ones, but also third party, which I'll go over in just a second. So in here, if I was to go to custom audiences, websites, and because we already have pixel and we've got a lot of data on it, we can then target people that, let's say, visited the website, visited a specific page of the funnel. So maybe they visited a appointment page, maybe they visited a survey page. We are going to go for people that selected whichever event we are interested in. So let's say I want to pick people that submitted a survey for our credit apps in a dealership. And let's say we want people that did it within the legs within 60 days. So those people would be classified as we target them. Now, keep in mind, this is going to increase your CPM, but it's going to increase lease quality. Now, if you want to increase the size of the audience and include more people, just click this button. Let's say we want to include people that not just submitted the survey, but also viewed the page or scheduled an appointment. Then we would just click in here. We would have another event in here called appointment. So let's just say we would click this one, same attention, and we are just going to create and save the audience. Once you get those audiences, you would then go to Facebook Ads Manager, Ad Set Level, and you would just put each one of those audiences into a separate ad set. Now there is one more targeting option. As you can see in here, we've got a lot of those and they are not from Facebook. They are from something called DeepSync, which I'm making a separate video on and you can see it somewhere in here. You can watch that. It's going to give you much better results, especially if you've got aged ad account, high budgets, and you want to optimize your video to its fullest potential. The rest of the setup looks pretty much the same. And I'm talking about those audiences, whether it's a lookalike audience or a custom audience. Each one of those buttons has the exact same process. You just have to test a lot what's working, what's not working. And obviously it's going to take money and time, but this is going to speed up your process instead of just throwing broad and stacked interests. Now, as a bonus, there is also one more thing you can do if you're on B2B marketing. And this is what I use for my own agency and for my other clients that are B2B. Let's say we want to run ads to sell software to roofers. The easiest way to do it is just find a website like Yellow Pages, type in all the businesses you want to find. So let's say roofers in California. And once you've got that, just get yourself a scraper. I found this one. Uh, it can be any scraper you want. You can even call one yourself, but you're going to scrape all those people in here and you're going to put that into a CSV file. Just the one like I showed you before. If you like this video, watch this one next. It's about custom audiences, but this time using third party audiences which is deep sync as i mentioned before it gets even better results and if you want to optimize your business if you have an hr account if you have higher budgets definitely check out this video if you want to learn more how to get better results with facebook ads i'm going to leave a video in the description where i go over the whole process of how i set up ads my process my results and how you can apply it for your own business